Ugh. Animals just have to get their little hooves and everything, don't they? Literally. Hi, I'm Ivan Hahn, the snack guy, and I'm a meat eater. So I've been a meat eater, non-vegan, non-vegetarian, non-pescatarian, all that, for years, my entire life, I've been eating animals and, and, and meats and, and animal byproducts and eggs and cheese and honey and all that. And it never dawned on me that gelatin is made of animal products, which I kind of knew that already, but I didn't realize that it was in everything. And, and by everything, I mean anything that is gummy has animals in it. And, you know, I can't really explain it, but I do have someone on payroll that I've hired just for telling me things about veganism. And let's, let's, let's shoot on over to our, our snack guy lab, shall we? Hi, uh, yeah, vegan, okay, um, let's see, uh, so normal gummies contain gelatin, gelatin is made from animals, animals not vegan. I could have just googled that myself and I think you're fired. I think, I think it's time for you to get out of here and uh, maybe find another job somewhere. So, sorry, we're small time business. So yeah, it's, it's crazy that, you know, it makes sense that gelatin has animal products in it. We've been using gelatin for years, Jello and and other things that are gummy and gelatin-y. And, and of course that's going to be the first, probably the cheapest product that you're going to put in something like a gummy bear, a gummy worm, a gummy, Jelly Belly, which is what we have here today. These are the Jelly Belly Gummy Vegan Sours. So they aren't jelly beans, but they are made by the same people who bring to you the amazing, spectacular, probably the best jelly bean on the market, Jelly Bellies. But it is a gummy, but it's a vegan gummy. So that means there is zero animal products as far as they tell us. We do have to take their word for it. We never know. But they're, you know, they're telling us that these are vegan products. So that means animals weren't technically harmed in the making of these. And they are also non-GMO. All There's no animal gelatin. Colors come from natural sources where if you don't live in the United States of America, you probably don't know what red number five green number black uh, and yellow, black, blue color dyes are because your country uses things like beets, carrots, flowers, natural, edible, non-chemically poisoning things to, you know, color your candies. And, and they still come out quite vibrant as we're about to see here in a second. Now they are, like I said, um, and also non-GMO, I think I said that already. They are interesting. I've never seen these before on the market and they're actually quite amazing. Um, I never, I really don't, didn't know that Jelly Belly made anything other than jelly beans. Um, but I'm kind of, you know, stupid. Now that's uninformed about certain things. I'm sure I've seen these somewhere and just never put two and two together that these were Jelly Belly, Jelly Bellies. And I, I've never eaten them before, but they come in five amazing sour flavors like sour lemon, sour blueberry, sour very cherry, sour orange, and sour green apple. They couldn't give sour orange another, like, you know, what's another word? Sour trump orange, sour orangey orange, sour, I don't know, I guess just sour orange. I couldn't think of anything in those two seconds, so why should the people over at Jelly Belly do it? You know, I'm not the Jelly Belly chef, where is he? There he is. On the bottom of the pack, there's always a, a, a jelly bean with, with eyes and a mouth and a chef's hat, and he's the jelly belly maker, and you're eating him. Oh, that's why they're not vegan. Jelly beans are people too. So you're gonna see me looking off to the side. I have my little pedestal over here with my jelly bean package on it so I could figure out what flavor is which. I'm pretty sure I know what each one is, 
but because they use natural colors, some of the colors aren't as vibrant as we're used to here. Um, like they're not, you know, they're not overly colorful, which is fine, it gets the point across. So right here we have very sour cherry, I think it is, a sour very cherry, and it's, you know, these things are cute. They're like little, they look like a jelly bean. So they look like they took a jelly bean and, and grew it by 10, 10 times the normal shape. It's flat on the back and it's kind of has a, 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 um, a glisten to it and a sourness. They, they all smell like each other, so you can't really, you know, smell the cherry, smell the orange, smell the whatever, but you can smell the cruelty-free. God, I really butchered that. Cruelty-free. You can really smell the cruelty-free. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. The flavor is spot on. It's very cherry. <laughs> It's not really, it's not crazy sour. Like, so let me pull up my sour meter here. The top of the sour meter right here is warheads. They are, you know, out of control. Then you have, you know, your, your trolley sour worms. Then you have like, you know, a lemon. I would put these towards the bottom, not as sour as any of these towards the bottom. They're, it has a, a like a, a tang to it, but not really like a make your mouth pucker like a warheads would. They have really good flavor to them, especially the cherry, but I'm what you call a gummy snob. I really only enjoy the Haribo gummies because they are chewy. They are, they are really gummy. It has that, you know, that, that you're going to be chewing on it for a couple minutes. And, and these are, they're gummy, but they're not chewy. Like you first bite your, your, your teeth go all the way through the products and it's good, it's dense, it's full of flavor, but not necessarily a gummy in my opinion, more of a, a fruit chew, kind of like, you know those old people candies, the, um, what do you call those? The, the gum drops. It kind of has a, a little bit of a gum drop texture to it as opposed to a gummy flavor. Still good. Let's try the, what do they call it? Sour lemon flavor. Uh, Mmm. Ooh, very lemony. Has um has a flavor of like a country time lemonade mix, like that kind of. You know, it's making you salivate a lot. It's bringing you that extra sourness, more so than a sour cherry, which is actually a thing. I wonder if they actually use sour cherries to flavor. Probably not. Just regular cherry mix. Now let's jump into the orange. I like to keep my citruses together, and orange is very orange because. You know, the color orange comes from the fruit orange. Orange, can you rhyme anything with orange? Let me know in the comments below. I'll wait. So the orange flavor is more of a, like a tangerine or like a, like more of a, I'm getting more orange rind than I am orange juice. Like it doesn't taste like a Tropicana. It doesn't taste like, you know, it's not a Tropicana morning. It's, it's you know, it's, it's orange, but it's a different, road for an orange. It's more, the same with a lemon, it's more of the acidic orange and less of the, the, the burst of flavor orange, which is weird coming from Jelly Belly. Now let's try the very blue, sour, whatever blue. So it's a dull blue. It's not like a, 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 the best thing I always, <laughs> I, I always say it's like Windex blue and it's not really a Windex blue. It's more sky blue. It looks like if you're on a nice summer day looking at the beautiful sky at home. You taste blueberry, you taste raspberry, you taste all the berries, but just, you know, there's blue in it. So it's not bad and anything blue is interesting. Now we're on our last one, which is the sour green apple. And this is the one I'm going to call out for, you need more green in this. This green is very gray. Uh, the, the color on the package is more green than that. I'm not, I'm not wanting you to make it this green, but I'm wanting you to make it, you know, like lettuce, lettuce green, grass green. There's there's things in nature that are green that you could have derived your color from. And this really isn't, oh, I got a burp. <clears throat> Ooh, hmm. fruity, non cruel to animals. That was a good burp. This, this is a poorly colored green. I'm, I'm gonna say that off the bat, but maybe it'll taste more sour apple than, than I'm hoping. Ooh, ooh, that is good. The sour apple is, is very apple-y, very, 
it's, it's like you just bit into an apple. And that's something that Jelly Belly has always been good at, is mocking apple and pear flavors. Their apple and pear flavors are by far the best apple and pear um, artificial flavorings there are on the market because it's not the typical Jolly Ranchers green apple flavor. It's, it's like you just took a bite out of, what are my hands doing? Out of a, 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 a Granny Smith apple. It's really good. It's tart. It's sour. It's, it's, it's good. It tastes like apple. So let's rate these as a whole. Let's take the whole and just shove our hands in there and, and rate this all together now. The Jelly Belly Gummies Sour Vegan. It's a lot to unpackage here. So it has the Jelly Belly flavors, giving it a point for that. It has the, the vibrant, loud flavors that Jelly Belly has. One point. The gummies, I have to take away a point because it's not as gummy as I prefer. It's, it's more of a chew than a gummy. It's not, it's not making you chew all day long. It's not making you all gummy and your jaw doesn't hurt. It's just, it's not doing it for me, bro. Sours, it's fairly sour. It's not, it's not crazy sour, which I wouldn't enjoy. It's not making my tongue hurt. Like remember those Altoids that we had in the early 2000s that kind of like, you know, burned your mouth and, and kids would eat a bunch of them and have troubles later on down the road. It's not that sour, but it's, it's sour enough to where it like, you know, it wakes you up a little bit. It gives you a little, little oomph, a little, a little ah, hey, a little whoo, you know, a little, 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 I need to calm down. My heart's going to stop. And vegan. We already talked to our scientist down in the basement, and he said, hey, they're vegan. Vegan approved, which I approve, so vegans have something to enjoy. Now, I was sent these in the mail by a viewer. Thank you so much for sending me these. So I'm not sure exactly how much they cost. And of course, I didn't do a lick of research before doing any of this. That's why I have the guys in the basement, guy in the basement, uh, who I have to, God, I have to fire. <laughs> So I don't know how much they are because a lot of times vegan products, vegetarian products, they like to up the price on it because they can. Because why not make the things that are unhealthy for us cheaper that are probably subsidized by the government and make the expensive stuff be healthier, whatever. Different, different show for a different time. So altogether now, I want to give Jelly Belly Vegan Sour Gummies a 3.5 out of 5 because the flavors are amazing. The sour is a good sour level. And it's just the, the gumminess that's not giving me the gummies that I like. It could be the gummies that you like and maybe the gummies that I like you don't enjoy. But like, hey, let's, let's fight about it. Let me know in the comments below, do you enjoy these vegan treats? Are there any other vegan treats that I should go out and try to find and, and maybe, maybe enjoy them and, and see if I will enjoy them more than the regular items? And until next time, I'm Ivan Han, the snack guy. Go enjoy a snack. And if you're vegan, go try these. Even if you're not vegan, they're pretty damn good. <laughs>